72 billion pesos net worth. Guys, tama yung narinig nyo. 72 with a B billion pesos net worth. This company has that much cash in his bank account. Ang laking kumpanya na ito. Grabe. 72 billion. First time ko lang narinig yan in my life. And last night, talagang mas lalo pa akong napabilib sa kumpanyang ito. Grabe. Ang laki pala ng kumpanyang ito. So, when na-redig uh, ko yun, grabe, dami ng pera ito, 72 billion peso. Ito nga bilang ilang zero yun. Eh. So, try mo bilangin. Try mo lang imagine for a second. 72 billion. Ganon karaming pera yun, di ba? So, this company is really strong, really stable, and is in a good financial position. So ever since I heard that data from last night's event, I've been trying to wrap around my mind kung gaano kalaki, kung gaano valuable ang company nito in cash siya, hindi lang siya in valuation. Kumbaga that cash, that 72 billion is sitting somewhere in a bank na readily available for this company's use or disposal. So that's how great this company is towards his financial health. Here's the best part, guys. You have to really remember this part. In 72 billion peso is actually the data in terms of the company's net worth. So when we talk about a company's net worth, a formula gen is this. Listen very carefully, guys. It's really important when it comes to understanding a company's value, a company's financial standing. So for any investor, they always look at a company's net worth. A net worth is determined by computing all the company's asset and then all the company's liabilities and what's the difference will become its net worth. Basically, Tanggalin mo lahat ng expenses or liabilities compared to its income and assets. And di pa yan nagtatapos. Aside from the net worth na in that industry this company is in, number one sila, they're on the top of the industry. Basically, they have the most or the largest net worth among all other companies in the Philippines. That means that if you're looking at investing your hard-earned money, it's probably the best option or the best company to put it in. Kasi nga, it has the financial capacity to hold on to your investments and deliver its promises. So far, so good, guys. If you think that net worth is really strong, that's something very stable, and... If you plan to invest your money with this kind of company that has 72 billion pesos in net worth, will that make you sleep like a baby at night? Something wrong. Oh, nandito yung pera ko. But I don't have to worry about it. I think this company is going to be good. Safe ang pera ko dito, no? The long run, in the short term. Whatever happens, I think your money is good here. You never know, pero that's the, what the number is. You know, that's the data and that's regulated by our government. It's not just a number that's been thrown out there. It's uh, verified. It's audited also. So that's just one consideration and I think that's really one important consideration as an investor that wants to make an investment in this company. So if you want to know about this company, if you're interested to learn more about this company, Joseph, ano ba yung kumpanya na yung pinag-uusapan natin? Pinagsasabi mo na mayroon 72 billion na net worth. Just comment down below, net worth. Sabihin mo, ano ba yung, just comment, net worth. And I'll send you a private message or a comment, reply sa comment mo, and reveal to you what company this is. I'm just sharing this to you. Kasi I just... I uh, think this is a good company 
you know, based on that statistic. And that would be a good company to put your money in. Uh, Pagay yung risk is lesser. Wala ko sinasabi na there's no risk, that there's uh, a guaranteed return on your investment. But that's one consideration that will help us make a better or informed decision when making an investment here in the Philippines. Alright guys, so don't forget to comment down below and hopefully we all find this company worth of investing. Tara, sama kayo sa pag-invest natin.